Hi, welcome to Splashed Up Enterprise Features Overview. Splashed Up Enterprise is an on-premise remote access and remote support solution. It's an all-in-one solution that enables companies to not only provide access for employees to remote into their work computers, but also enables IT departments to remotely support computers, mobile devices, and even IoT devices. Companies across industries like gaming, education, finance, and healthcare prefer Splashed Up Enterprise for their on-premise remote access and remote support needs. In this video, we will go over the features and look at how to download, install, and activate the Enterprise app, create users and group them, get set up for unattended access and support, attended access and support, navigating the user and management portal, and finally, configuring system parameters. Let's start by looking at where and how to download and set up the app. We have a support site that answers most of the questions you might encounter. To view them, go to splashtop.com, click on Help, and then Splashtop Enterprise. If you scroll to the bottom, you will see the apps to download. Click on Enterprise Gateway and scroll down to download. After the app is downloaded, begin install. Once the installation is complete, launch the Enterprise Gateway web portal. Accept the terms and conditions. Select a password for the database admin to bootstrap the database, as well as for on-premise underscore support to access the database. Then enter the team or company name and the team owner credentials. With that, we finish configuring Enterprise Gateway. Next, to configure your license, first log in to your Splashed Up account. And under the License tab, activate your online license. Grab your email and license key provided to you. Enter it here, and that's it. You will see all the features that are enabled on your license. Now let's look at how admins can create users and group them. First, log into your Enterprise Gateway web portal. Go to Grouping under the Management tab and create as many groups as you need. You can effectively manage access to certain computers by creating groups and assigning them permissions. I'm going to create two groups, Group 1 and Group 2. Then under Users, you can create the users you need. You can ask them to change their passwords on logging in later on. Here you can assign those users to a group. Users can be either members or admins. I select OK. Similarly, I also create a user for group 2 as well. You can also add or change the group after you created the user from the gear icon. For example, now we can move user 2 to group 1 from group 2. In this section, we will now explore how you and your team can get set up to get unattended access and also provide unattended support. In order to remote instantly into a computer, you first have to deploy a streamer on the computer. As an administrator, you can simultaneously deploy a streamer on multiple computers that you need to remote into. 
In the Enterprise Gateway Web Portal, go to Deployment under the Management tab to create a deployment package. Select the group permission and other settings like prompting for user permission, when you remote in, etc. And you've created your deployment package. Next, you have two options to deploy the package. You can share the link with your users via which they can allow remote access to their computers and then you can download the Splashtop streamer. Use the deployment code provided along with your gateway IP while installing the streamer. Once the streamer is installed, you can choose the settings as per your requirement. Let's have a quick look at the settings that are available to you. You have the status information, options in the settings tab, the security tab, the advanced tab. and information about the streamer. Now that the streamer is installed on the computer to be remoted into, let's see how to download the Client Enterprise app on devices you'd be remoting from. From your Splashtop account, go to Downloads and download the Enterprise app depending on the device OS. I'm going to download for Windows. Once the client app is downloaded, go ahead and enter your credentials, your gateway IP, user ID, and password. When you log in, you will see the computers on which you deployed the streamer before. Enter your credentials. And you're remoted in. You now control the computer. You can choose settings and actions from the toolbar here. You can maximize the screen. You can execute actions, transfer files, record the session, as well as initiate a chat. Now let's look at how you can provide attended quick support to devices you don't have the streamer installed on. From your Splashtop Enterprise Client app, click on the SOS button here. You can do this even from the Enterprise Gateway web portal. Invite the user you need to support either by email or by copy-pasting this link in a chat. The user then goes to this link, downloads and runs a small app. The user then is prompted to enter the gateway ID available in the link to generate a 9-digit session code. The technician then enters that 9-digit code to begin the remote session. And now he's remoted in. Once again, the technician has complete control of the user's computer and has access to in-session features in the taskbar. can maximize the screen, 
can perform these actions, transfer files, record the session, as well as initiate a chat. In this section, let's navigate through the user portal. When you log in as a user into the Enterprise Gateway web portal, in the Computers tab, you see the devices you can remote into or have the streamer installed on. You can get more information when you click on the gear icon next to it. In the Devices tab, you can see the devices you have the client app installed on. Splashtop logs your remote session activity and you can access those here. You have session logs, files transferred, chats, and remote command sessions. The Downloads tab is where you can download the client apps on devices to remote from, like we did earlier. Similarly, let's go over the Management Portal. As an administrator, you can manage all users, all the computers, the devices, all the groups created, in your account. You have access to the deployment packages and you can also control these settings. In this section, let's see the options available for system configuration. As an administrator, you have access to the system tab from where you can configure system settings. You have access to network settings, the authentication settings. In case you want to integrate with Active Directory, you can manage certificates, system notifications, splashtop related software components, You can manage maintenance related activities as well as licenses. These were all the system settings you can control as an administrator. Going back to the agenda we saw in the beginning, these are the topics that we went over in this video today. I hope you found it useful. If you have further questions, please visit our support site. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.